Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. It's hard to believe that another year has passed, but as we're filming this, it's October, and that's come to mean that a new Macintosh operating system from Apple is about to drop. This one is called Mac OS 13, codenamed Ventura, and of course, all the Mac faithful out there, including me, are very excited about it. The new OS includes lots of cool new features focused on powerful, innovative ways to get more done, to share and collaborate more easily, to improve gaming experiences, and to get even tighter integration with other devices such as iPads and iPhones. There are lots of intriguing looking additions in Ventura. One of my favorites among the new features is Stage Manager, which allows you to organize your open apps and windows into a single view and easily switch among them. And all that's to say, if you're like me, then you can't wait to start taking advantage of all that's new and cool in Mac OS 13 Ventura. But as I do every time we see an OS update on any platform, I'm gonna advise taking a deep breath, engaging your patience mode, and being extremely cautious. While many updates go smoothly, some can result in issues that might prevent you from making music using your computer. Now, as musicians, audio engineers, and producers, we rely heavily on our computers for creating our art and getting our work done. Music and audio apps, plugins, and virtual instruments make demands on the computer and operating system in ways that just don't impact more mainstream apps. Plus, we're integrating audio interfaces and other hardware into our computer systems as well, and sometimes compatibility issues can arise. And there's always a bit of lag time before music and audio software and hardware manufacturers can update their products to make them compatible with the new operating systems. We can't expect everything to be compatible the second that Ventura is released. Now, in some cases, no updates are required. The products are compatible with the new operating system right off the starting block. And some manufacturers either have to do little updating or they work fast and release their updates very quickly. But for many others, it can take some time for them to do the extensive testing and work required to be 100% positive that their products are compatible with the new operating system. The amount of time it takes depends on a lot of intertwined factors involving the operating system and how deeply the hardware and software need to tie into the OS in order to do their thing. And of course, the resources the manufacturer has available to dedicate to the task make a big difference as well. But as we've seen over and over in the past, even if there are incompatibilities, they're temporary. All of the manufacturers want their hardware and software to work with the current computers and operating systems, so we know that they're going to prioritize any necessary updates to ensure compatibility with Mac OS 13 Ventura. So as I mentioned, take a breath and resist that nearly uncontrollable urge to update your system until you have confidence that everything you need to make your music and audio is compatible and ready to go. And really, before you even take a step toward updating, the first thing to do is to verify that your computer is compatible with the new operating system. Apple is listing compatibility with various iMacs, MacBooks, and Minis back to 2017 in some cases, 2018 in others, while Pros are compatible back to 2019, and Mac Studios, of course, just came out, so they're all compatible. But if you're using an earlier Mac, it might not be compatible. Double check to be sure. Another thing to note, as with the previous Mac OS 12 Monterey, Mac OS 13 Ventura is 64-bit only. So if you've still got legacy 32-bit software or plugins you're using with an earlier OS, be sure they're updated to 64-bit versions or take steps to preserve any audio or music you've made using those items before you make the move to 64-bit only. And here's ultimately what it comes down to. Be sure you're 100% absolutely positive that all the hardware and software you need is completely compatible under Mac OS 13 Ventura. It's not like Mac OS 12 Monterey or your earlier OS is gonna stop working when Ventura comes out. So keep making music and creating audio with your current solid rig until you're sure. When everything checks out, then you can give Ventura the green light, install the update, and start enjoying all those powerful new features. Otherwise, if you update too early, you run the risk of being stuck with a system that doesn't work with what you need, and basically you're dead in the water for making music. It's not really worth the risk. So how do you know when you're good to go? Your first stop should be Sweetwater's collection of OS update resources located in the Sweet Care section of our Sweetwater.com website. The hub for all of the new operating system information we've collected is our Ventura Compatibility Guide page. As I mentioned, all the manufacturers are testing and updating their products, so having a single page where you can check statuses is super convenient and a real time saver. Plus, Sweetwater's techs are in constant contact with our manufacturer family to ensure that we have up to the minute information on the Ventura Compatibility Guide page. From the Ventura Compatibility Guide page, you can also navigate to several other important resources, including a guide on how to create a complete backup using Time Machine before you update. Every year when a new OS comes out, I hear horror stories about lost data. It's not common, but it does happen, so please don't skip this absolutely essential step. I make it a requirement to have a complete, accurate, and up-to-date backup of my Mac before I ever start any update process. If you have a backup, then if there's a problem with the OS update or a compatibility issue, you're covered. 
you can get back to where you were before you attempted the update. And in fact, we've even created a guide to help you get your Mac back to square one, where you were before you attempted to install Ventura, using that backup that we talked about earlier to downgrade your operating system. So you can get back to work until the problem is resolved or compatibility is established. So that backup is essential. Apple makes installing a new OS pretty easy, but there are steps you can follow to make the process streamlined and straightforward. So we've also created a Ventura download and installation guide so that when you're sure that everything is compatible and you've got your backup in place, you'll have easy and clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the upgrade process fast and easy. There's also a guide to optimizing the new operating system for music and audio. As I mentioned, computers weren't designed specifically for audio and music production, and the handy tips in this guide will ensure that you'll get the most from the new OS in your studio and on stage. But really, taking a step back, I don't want to give you the impression that installing a new operating system should be a terrifying experience. I mean, wow, it all sounds pretty scary, right? But that's not the case at all. Rather, we want to provide you with complete information so you can make an educated decision about when to upgrade and also provide help with resources to guide you to getting installed and rocking with Mac OS 13 Ventura as quickly, easily, and painlessly as possible. To wrap things up, let's end with good news. I've been running the public beta of Mac OS 13 Ventura for a while here, testing it with Presona Studio One, Avid Pro Tools, Universal Audio Luna, and a wide range of plugins of virtual instruments, as well as with hardware from a number of manufacturers, and I've had a great experience so far. Now don't take that to mean that these apps and hardware are guaranteed 100% compatible. I'm not suggesting that at all. And there have been no official statements from manufacturers regarding compatibility at the time of this filming. But I did want you to know that based on the time I've spent using an early version of Ventura, I'm cautiously optimistic that the move to Mac OS 13 will hopefully be a very smooth transition. However, only time will tell. And until then, if you rely on your Mac as the heart of your musical life like I do, then you just can't afford to be out of commission due to update problems or compatibility issues. Take my advice, be cautious, be patient. Before you install the new OS, thoroughly check out the resources we've collected at Sweetwater's Ventura Compatibility Guide page in the Sweet Care section of Sweetwater.com. Trust me, as with any OS update on any device, it's better to wait, be cautious, and be prepared. Then when you do make the transition, it'll be smooth and easy, and you'll be able to continue creating music and audio with no problems. Visit the Ventura Compatibility Guide page in the Sweet Care section of Sweetwater.com for complete information. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thank you.